How's it going guys? Back to Path of Exile and today we are going for Uber Elder. Now we're potentially really close. We need a Hydra Fragment and then we need Shaper to drop us lower fragment here. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to like go through Kirok missions and see if I can get it that way. Um, otherwise I'd just be grinding for a sh Shaper map drop because I could force that to be Hydra. So we're pretty close to Uber Elder. You have an influence scouting report. There's a 1 in 12 chance, technically, I think. What do we got in here? Ooh, Malkoon's decent currency. Lyrium Mirror here. Yeah, I gotta run this Malkoon. Okay, we'll start with that. Alright, got a decent haul of stuff out of there. Nice chunk of fusings. You chaos. Well, cool. now let's see what happens here. What do we got? Blight, Expedition, Legion, Harbingers, Div cards, Stacks. Okay, so let's use this. We got a Minotaur. That's not what we're looking for. We'll, we'll go ahead and run it, though. So from the Kirak mission, the Minotaur was not um, joined by another one of the Shaper Guardians. I only was able to get the one fragment. I was hoping Hydra showed up and I could get the fragment off of that, but it's not. Uh, I did get a purifier, but that doesn't quite help us. So maybe my play is just keep churning maps until I get one of these Shaper Guardian maps to drop. I'll go ahead and use the rest of these scouting reports and see. This one provides one unique map. Of course, it gives me another Malcoon. Let's see if one showed up. I can do in that. Okay, hey, next. Only thing I'm looking for in here is Smuggler's well, Cash. I'm gonna do that. Next. We've got 16 missions, 15 missions. Okay, next. Position, Valsidaria, Metamorph, Harvest, Legion, Monoliths. So that one. Roll. Okay, don't care about this map. Ethereum, Ethereum, Harvest, Harvest. Ethereum, Delirium Mirrors are good. Probably should go ahead and take it, but next. Max Sanctum. We did corrupted. Find the rare map item. Corrupted ones. Okay, here's another Shaper Guardian. Smuggler's Cache there. And we're already up on a Minotaur fragment, so I'm gonna take Smuggler's Cache. And it is nice to know though that these other scouting reports will give me guardian maps. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, so I've gotten like three smuggler's caches in a row, and I'm Trying to hunt down wins, maps, blueprints, nothing amazing out of there. Nothing out of this one, though. Though it does feel bad to leave expeditions sitting here. I'm going to reroll this. Asian, which is, yep, okay, we can reroll another one. Still no bosses. Again. Smuggler's cash here. Yep, got to run that one. Stacking up some heists. Hey, maybe this will do it. Change a Conqueror Fragment another random conquer fragment of that type so i can take any one of these i guess this is only for conk uh figured it would work for any of them but guess not just these ones i guess Ooh, this one's got a blighted map i really can't pass the free blighted map up so we're gonna send this less spell suppression less effective curses this could be interesting no annoyance on this either a lava chamber too lava chambers have tight narrow like entryways to the pump okay let's send this which way are we starting we're starting up here get one of these upgrade these to three i'm scaling chill effect and i believe it affects my towers so these towers work really well and we've got four things here we're gonna add another one here these do do damage as well. And then we'll save whatever points for securing other paths. Yep. Let's play next. Them down. I can just like come up here. Pick off all the slowed enemies. Leave it be. This still hasn't even popped open yet. I got something I'm gonna do. Like, 
probably my next like Atlas Passive Tree rework once I get done playing with Metamorphs. Because I'm gonna invest into Blights. Add another one right here. Yes, don't like the fireballs. Alright, we've got the jumping goat guy. Hurts. Enough damage for now, it seems like. Alright, that one's got a path to it still. Ow! Let's get rid of this guy. Let's get some more damage, like, right here. Alright, that, that boss is just stuck there for, because of the chill. Okay, this chill stack's so high that, like, I can lock stuff in place. But we will throw up an arc tower there. We've split to the last direction. Throw a damage one in here. And that boss is done. Alright, what's we got going here? Put it here. And we can slow things even more up there. The seismic one. This to Temporal Tower. Ooh. Goatman once. Not friendly, to say the least. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Mr. Clapperclaw. Uh-oh. Something got through. Must have been from down here. Okay, let's get Arc Tower here as well. By slowing the enemies, the Arc Tower gets to do more against, like, the swarms of enemies. Take care of the boss. Literally hasn't moved since I showed up. Okay. This is with the debuffs to me. Yeah, less spell suppression, less effective curses. And some monster life. I feel like I handled this one pretty well. Granted, like, I only have three entries to the pump, so it's a lot easier to set up the towers on this one. Than it would be if you're getting home from like all directions. Two clobber claws. Right, something's coming. I got there anyways. I can figure out what anoints I want. But I do have a lot of potential for ring upgrades still if I ever am willing to like spend any of the money that I'm like farming up okay that wing is clear this should take care of these all right now we have to loot this thing Okay. Three 
close. 50, I think it's 57 that we're looking for on gloves. Yep. I need to set it up in my filter just to show me. Like, it, it can filter out the, like, roll of the bases. Okay, black oil. Stack decks. Find. Ready? Tools. More div cards. Uh, the coming storm I don't need. I made that big because I was actually looking for one in SSF, so. Um, uh, I nest here too. Failed chaos. Like a version mod. Dagger. Yep. Okay. What about the last one? Oil things down here. I've never seen a blight ravaged map either, so that'd be cool. I don't know how you get those still. Other than hide your blighted maps. Ancient shards. Salted shard. The shards. The best we got was black oils. Oh, lighted map done. What's next? Mr. Kirak. Smuggler's cash in the cemetery. One of my okay. followed... Up next, harvest exiles. Lab trials is something I could do for the endgame grind, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, smuggler's cash, no life, mana, or yes regen. So I'm not doing that one. We'll reroll. Still no boss maps. Still nothing. Smuggler's cash here. Yeah, we'll do that one. Gotten two maps so far. These are the ones I'm actually looking for, but it's paying off getting heist contracts. Right, got another blighted map here. One seems like it'll be easier than the last one. Oh, it's a dunes map. Now I got myself my first ever blight ravaged map. Never seen it before at all. Can be anointed up to nine times. And monster level 85, extra monster life, monster movement speed. This will be fun. We'll probably look at this tomorrow. Since we're kind of on a mission to ideally get to an uber elder. I, I'm feeling like Roland Kirak has not been the option, like the answer, without the right scouting reports. Just nothing. Gotten more smugglers' caches out of this than bosses. I've gotten more blighted maps out of this than bosses. Smugglers' cache. Elemental reflects. Can't do that. All of Grandmasters. Smugglers' cache. Like a one reroll left. Got myself a Heart of Glory from that one. What you need to get the far shot projectile speed helmet. Uh, what do we got this time? Harvest. My last reroll, so I'm gonna have to run them after this. Ooh! Elder Slayer. Hey, one showed up like this, though. Okay, let's do this. Let's go defeat a Baron with chilled ground, fizzes extra lightning, hinder. Okay, this is gonna be easy. Ooh! Let me the first one of these I've done for myself. Gotta save the Vault Cold Snap. So when we go in here, drop a portal, because if I die, I'm not going to drop a portal inside of there. Alright. Hold ground, only around the edges. It's been a minute, Mr. Baron. Oh, yeah. 
Look at him melt. Why don't you come over here? Really? You're just gonna stand over there? I'm in the middle. There we go. Oh, not this time. Baron's Crest. So, I, so obviously I'm going to need to color these in my filter. Probably just jack the color from the influenced items. And I chose. Well, that's, that's fun. Okay, what next? Looks like I'm just going to have to run whatever. These smuggler's cash. I get a twin, so it'll be worth it. I mean... It's worth it anyways just to like bulk up on contracts. I'm really after the blueprints. But at the same time, I'm not getting my Atlas passives to give me increased chance for blueprints, so I don't know that it's actually worth it. Huh. Eric missions. There's a lot of cool stuff there, just a lot of stuff missing. Oh! Twins! <laughs> Laboratory blueprint and the contract. Yeah. Area mirror. Like fizz minus max. I know this sure. Perks of being level 100. Probably run the twins tomorrow with the Blight Ravaged map. Something I forgot to be doing was after each mission, checking this inventory. There's nothing of value in here at all right now. That may be... I should have been checking on that. I know this sounds mad. Then this one. See if it updates. Yeah, they update. Also reminds me, do I have those div cards? There's a div card for... No, I don't have the Shaper Guardian one. I need one more Guardian's Challenge. That'll give me a Shaper Guardian map. That gives me a Shaper. That... Okay, maybe that's the play. Maybe, maybe we buy one of those. I'd say that was a pretty good delirium. Bind delirium orbs, skittering delirium orb, scarabs, and splinters. Five passive burning damage. What's skittering delirium orb worth? 43, 44 chaos. Huge. I got another four reward recipe. Orbs detonator, Ukahama touched, Aberth touched, and corruptor. Might give me the last one I need to complete, like, all of the recipes. I still don't know if the fragment rewards on these can give you boss fragments. All I've ever seen is sacrifice or mortal out of them. There we go. Kitava touched. Rewards are doubled. Great. Right. Kirak did not pay off. So let's go a different route. I, I could easily just farm maps and then get one drop eventually because none of the Kirak missions were taking into the account my 4% chance to drop a Shaper Elder Guardian map on boss completion. So 25 maps, I will have gotten one of them. Uh, guaranteed. Like on average, I guess. So I have a better chance of getting them just running 25 normal maps. But we're going to buy a Guardian's Challenge. And I discovered this divination card, Parasitic Passengers. Love it. This is a fantastic tip card. In Incubators, item level 84. Don't know where these come from. I got this from a stacked deck, but very cool card. All right, so let's go to trade. We want Guardian's Challenge. And then we're going to search. Okay, there we go. So how I'm going to find these cards, like you could go down through these listings, people that list them for one chaos, two chaos. I'm going to sort by um, most recently listed. And then I'm going to look at these five chaos. He's got a full stack of them. Three chaos seven minutes ago. And I'm going to try and trade with that person. Because we know well, seven minutes ago, this person's actively trying to sell this card. It's not been sitting there, um, and then we'll just get ignored on trying to whisper for it. So I, I tend to do that. I always search by, like, most recently listed. I might end up paying overpriced um, for what it's worth, but sure. 
we'll we'll spend three chaos on it. All right, let's turn this in. And there we go, Hydra right off the bat. Let's quality it up. Rich, cannot leech chain boss life. Sure, fine. Well, we can do that. Here is this crit Hydra. Really, just not worried about it. It'll be more interesting once the second boss pops in here. I think that is a healing call out. Okay, twin. Oh my goodness. Alright, and we got a Phoenix. Yeah, crit's not that bad if you don't get hit. I don't have any kind of crit reduction at all. Didn't have multiple projectiles on it or anything crazy. Phoenix should be about out of here. Well, Phoenix dropped me a fragment. There we go. Alright, let's kill Shaper. Come on, let's go. I oh, have one. Lovely. Uh, I'm over it. And I don't like fighting Shaper. Okay. So, how I'm going to do this one. You can bulk item search for shards and uh, fragments and sets. I could look for a fragment of shape for chaos. 50 chaos. Try it. I'm going to buy one from one guy that has it at 52. Hopefully, I can get this real quick but often the case right where these guys aren't going to message you back so i tend to do the same thing is i will search for a fragment of shape and look at it here see this was listed a day ago this was a minute ago a few seconds ago those are the people that we were looking for people that are definitely trying to sell them even still might not be the simplest thing, but yeah, you can sort by. Oh, okay, this guy was 53 a few seconds ago. 53 a few seconds ago. Sure, I'll just throw in another chaos and hopefully find somebody that will trade me. There we go. Now we can do our Uber Elder. Nothing fancy to set up prior to this fight. Let's just go in there and do it. Okay, Shaper first, I think. Just gotta hit the curse. Oh, we brought the Maven in here. I've definitely watched both of these with the Maven. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We should phase Shaper. Yep. On to Elder. I still have not made, I still haven't done anything on this character that's unethical in my eyes. Still don't have the corrupted like six link plus two. That's when it gets busted. Okay, we faced. Minions and like it's really all about getting the curse down. Okay, back to Shaper. Use. No, don't heal him. Okay, well, you're healing that one, I guess. As they swapped. So I wasn't able to take off the healing. Darn it. Mm. 
No. Okay, luckily I can take off like a lot of the healing. Now if she heals during this, though there's nothing I can do. The price I could bring Maven in here. That needs to go. Shape her go. Here. Ow. No. Mm, I think she got a little bit of heal. Okay, this should be phased. Like, everything in this map is trying to slow me down. Okay. Stack those. Alright, we got Elder Slam. Okay, slaps. Don't get out of that. Still suppression, though. You, like, used to, if you got hit by one of those Shaper Balls, you're just done. But spell suppression allows you to have some room of error in this fight. Uh oh. Squish is leaving. DJ in ground. Not what we want. But we're about to enter the final phase. We got a Valk hold snap up. Okay. Oh. I just survived through the Shaper Slam somehow. I think Shaper should be done. I think that's it. I think we're done once he gets out of his face. Here we go. Got our last Void Stone. Another favorite slot. So we still got some things to do and unlock. But, you know, how about a Watcher's Eye? Okay. Hey? I'll recall you though. I know it's poorly rolled. In with these boots. And is Mark of the Elder worth anything? Yeah, take chaos. That's not bad. Rolled. 10% on the life. 76 on the damage. That's a that's a decent roll. Low on the flat. Okay, so I might get a little bit out of that. What I really wanted was the Watchstone, and we got that, so now we're going to have all maps at P16. So another favored map. First, let's put this in. We need another map with two bosses. So what maps down here are going to have two bosses? Ooh, or I could throw a Toxic Sewer just because we're going to put in Toxic Sewer. Because I like them. So every other map here, Strand, Rainbow Valley, Arcade, Acid Caverns, Canyon... Ivory Temple, City Square, and Precinct all have multiple bosses. Hobes has multiple bosses. That's one. So I still need to do the Feared, Vortex, and Cirrus. Those are my last three. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw on Coves. Just because I want, I want a set of maps that I can run and arm Metamorph samples in and have multiple... Like, since I can build multiple Metamorphs, I want a guaranteed chance to get multiple pieces out of them. Gotta be others. Courtyard, I think, has multiple bosses. That one's a three-boss map. We'll figure that out later. We've got a decent setup now. They're all T16. So, next step. Refunds. If all my maps are dropping T16, I don't need chance for them to drop higher. We can pull out of all of this. All right. We've also learned today, Kirak missions are not giving me anything I need. I'm better off farming it myself unless it is Smuggler's Caches, because Smuggler's Caches just don't like to show up. But this is a lot more passive points by pulling out of that as well. That gives me 13 without unspecking out of the Maven stuff, without unspecking out of the stuff up here. So this is, 
Eldritch bosses have a 20% chance to drop a Conqueror map, which is nice. All the small passives are items found have a have increased chance to be influenced. Mysterious, okay, unique bosses have a 25% chance to drop a Conqueror's map. Conquerors have a, okay, so I should probably get that one. So I won't need this until I'm far, like actually fighting bosses. Let's put some of there. So I still have eight points. And I know the blight stuff is over on this side. Blight stuff here, blight stuff here. I, I think that's the next thing I want. I want to like investigate the blight things. Areas with blight encounters. Actually, like, do these have, any of these affect blighted maps? Light chest are lucky. That's solid. Okay, well, we'll just focus on clearing Exarch because that's also where I'm headed. And I'm closer to this one. Technically. Oh, they're about the same. So what do we need? We need maps have a 10% chance to award double the progress towards encountering the Searing Exarch. Players take 10% increased damage for each Searing Exarch altar used. 20% chance to spawn a Searing Exarch altar when the influence of the Searing Exarch first appears. And this... Eldritch Embers duplicated... Axe size. I don't, okay, I don't think that's as necessary. Two, three, four, five. I got one more. So I want this for the bosses. This is just for like juice. Public embers have a 10% chance to be duplicated for each searing exarch altar used in the area. Players take 10% increased damage per altar. I don't like that, actually. So we'll take the last point and put it where? More likely to be accompanied by reinforcements that would be good if there's a challenge for that all right and then yeah now i'm set up and i'm gonna keep farming metamorphs oh we get another point i technically had two points um hmm if i refund this what can i now do with two points start getting into that stuff common varieties and i can specialize that'll be good there's a diamond flask selling Ooh, Rogue Exiles is good. Do that. Um, because the div card that drops off the Rogue Exile that gives a level 21 Vol Summon Skeletons. I've gotten several of those from just the strong boxes. Well, we got the Void Stones, so probably the last time I'm fighting Uber Elder this league. Alright, and I think that's where we wrap this up. I gotta I gotta clean the mess up. It's been collecting for a few days now. Um, and yeah, tomorrow, Blight Ravaged map, the twins. And I don't know if I'll have enough. Like, we're getting close, but I mean, we're still over halfway on this one. I want to do, like, a full inventory, like, set of metamorphs. So that'll be coming. I still might need some time to farm that one up, though. So. But I'd like to thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. It really helps me out a lot. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.